this without Johnny? I actually was going to have just Jim on here. What happened to Jim? We well, launched off like five minutes I ago. I looked off the balloon as we were taking off. I saw him running towards us. Oh, so he missed the lift off. I'm still alive. Look at that. down there. Oh. Oh. There's Jim. Dangling from the rope. Jim. Wait, wait, wait. Did you bring beer? I smuggled the botting tins. Oh, okay. To Tennessee. That's why I'm late. Okay, we should. This weird science stuff is amazing. I'm going to try to get it near my mic so you guys can hear it. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the widget worked. That is a great effect. That is some genius mad scientist stuff there to make that happen. In well, it's the. The special draft but, flow system from. But that from massive body. head dissipated really fast. Browns, uh, you know. He said nut. <laughs> nut. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just keeps spilling his nut all over the place. I, I'm still struggling from that climb up the rope on the balloon. I am really really excited <laughs> about British beers. That's, <laughs> all, that's all I can say. So uh, during the, uh, the the segment here in the intermission piece, Kaz went ahead and, and demonstrated to Jim and I exactly how you utilize that foil um, to good use. A couple of grills. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's so terrible. <laughs> Kaz, can could you, could you remove your grill and tell us where we're at? <laughs> we landed between London, England and some other town. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I can't. It's something Saint something. Anyways, Anyways. we ended up grabbing us a couple of ESBs yes, from these ESB. this location. So we have Fuller's coming in at 5.9% and Old Speckle Hen coming in at, uh, I think, around 5% as well. I understand that Old Speckle Hen's really good. It pairs well, rather, with Spotted Dick. Is that <laughs> is that named after a, a farm animal or my mother-in-law? I don't know. Old speckled hen? Sounds yeah, it sounds kinda like a it's, pub pub meal or it's something. Super yeah. confusing. Super confusing. So they're both ESBs, uh, which stands for extra special bitter. Uh, I'm rather kind of fond of this style, so Yeah, you know, I like bitter beers too. Just like, yeah. Yep. I like the just maltiness like, and just, bitter just, it just like my women. It just <laughs> once, uh, once you go bitter, you can't go back. <laughs> I'm actually rather happy to see that we're starting to move up a little bit in ABV here because that that Fuller's is coming right. in at almost at six percent. All right, yeah. yeah. I don't you think know, they've um, been around as long. I think they've only been around since like around nineteen seventy. So this is, you know, about as old as I am, guys. But I am Soccer seeing a trend. Beer. Like the English beers are kind of hovering right in the five to six range. They're right, really right, right. Pushed. I haven't really had a really strong. Well, I mean, have you seen their uh, football matches? <laughs> They don't want too many, True. Like you know, low scores, you know yeah. drunk, drunk guys <laughs> well, yeah. uh, causing fights. We don't want violence so. on the field. Yeah. The fanatics there probably get pretty crazy. So, right. I, I think, In I think fact, we'll probably have fanatics about these two beers. And, <laughs> Again, <you> know. <laughs> in the comments, let us know: is right. there better stuff out there? Is this, you're just going to definitely because this is just what they have here in the states, right. you know, at our local. Stores. And again, we're willing to pay for the beer and the shipping. Reach out to us, guys. But in the meantime, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, send over some fish and chips too. Does this oh, one have? Yeah. Does this one have the widget? We're going to find I, out if know, it has the thing. Wait, I don't let, think let, so. Don't I, take it up too I, much. I would dude. not do that. But let Jim do that. <laughs> Jim's going to pop the. Jim's top already on wet, so let him do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. pop the top. Go ahead, pop the top on scene here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh I, heard the widget. I heard the widget. it. Oh, that was a better. Oh, it's coming. Give me glass. Give me glass. Well, yeah, Jim, I brought you a gift. Huh? I brought you a gift, Jim. <laughs> well, wow, that's more absorbent than Kleenex. <laughs> We're going to pop the other one. We're going to pour them. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, we poured these two fabulously looking beers, and they look very, very similar. <gasps> but with One, difference. Yeah, there are some differences. The old speckle hen there has a little bit more head. Uh, it's probably, I don't know what they did in the can. It had that, that yeah, the widget, nitro. Widget. 
You know, the, you know, you know the thing. I don't, yeah. I don't hear the widget in the can, but well, it's there was almost something going on there. It's like almost like they did it with nitro or something. Uh, the colors are very similar. The ESB from Fuller's looks a little bit more clear. The old speckle, I, I get a little bit more cloudiness. Um, I see a lot of carbonation off the uh, Fuller still going. Um, I, I'm. This is a style of beer I, I really like. Um, I'm, I'm more of the multi beer guy or, or whatever. I'm well, excited. Gonna happy I'm gonna. I'm ready to try these. Wait, yeah, well, for? Well, uh, like well, just Jim go, goes ahead and uh, gets to the sniffing and the tasting. Uh, I guess Kaz and I will start to talk. Yeah. I first like to say that this ESB, uh, the Fuller's, um, way better to me. I just, I guess, I like that that bigger bite. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the bite. cream. Yeah, and I'm not a bigger fan of that really creamy feeling. Did you already taste it? Yeah, we did. Oh Wait, hey, shoot, dude, don't make us throw your ass off the blimp. Or they're, the, they're both the ESBs, but they're definitely different in their own. Design. Hey, I had to run so. to catch the balloon. I'm and they're tired. both good. I feel like oh, this wow. this speckled hen has some nitrogen for sure. Definitely, there's something going there. It's very smooth on the belly now feel. Um, but this one is a little bit more pow, yeah, more in your face flavor. No carbonation really. Though. This it's weird. This tastes kind of creamier. The old speckle hand, uh, almost, almost on the flat side. I don't, you know, I don't. It's it's just lighter. And to me, the Fuller's, uh, you know, tastes more like what I'm used to as an ESB, you know, at least. We're picking you know. up that extra 0.9% of ABV. There it is. Well, I mean, it, it, it does feel like it has a bigger body. It's right. more full flavored. More flavorful. Yes. Uh, and again, I don't think they've been around as long, but but they're it's a good one. But they're doing it right. So. But neither are bad beers. They're both. No, good they're beers. they're both they're both fantastic beers. I I I love them. So again, our viewers in England, let us know: Are we getting suckered here, mm -hmm. or is this your good stuff? Yeah, um, I'm gonna need some ABV. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Five point nine and five. No, I mean I'm gonna need some ABV for a good beer. You, you know, be up? I'd actually kind of like to see these two kind of do a a barrel aged. I'll see, I'm gonna do my own blend right here. Oh, a barrel aged right. ESB. Right. Sam That'd be pretty what? good. I've not seen something like that. Uh, it'd be it'd be nice to to see see, see something. That would be interesting. If there is a barrel aged ESP out there, reach out. Yeah, please. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say both these beers get a thumb up for me. I think they're fantastic. They're very and they good. taste good blends together too. And I could have them again with fish and chips. Fish and chips and spotted and dick. some malt vinegar. And now no. tea likes the spotted dick. So. Kaz, help yourself. Kaz <laughs> likes the spotted dick. Let's go ahead and get this fixed. All right. I like the bangers and mash. Come so uh, yes, bangers are good. Do you do, do you serve bangers with spotted dick? You know, I don't know do the like banging spotted English dick that cuisine rules. I know you have baked beans for breakfast. I do know that we don't have haggis here, and that's that's important. Good thing uh, we don't have you, haggis. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you for keeping that stuff on the other side of the I, pond. I, I think the Germans stunk all those ships. <laughs> <laughs> Cass, where are we headed next? We are heading to another spot in England, and I will let you know when we land there. I got to pull up the map and figure out where I, we're going. I want to say we're going to Bungay. Oh, Bungay! Bung You're right. We're going Bungay. to Bungay. As long as it's not the bunghole. No, Bungay. Or the Bengay. <laughs> no, 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 Bungay. What if it's a combination of the two? That's uh, weird. You know, it's somewhere know. in England. They got all these weird names over there. You know, their their English is not our English. We have the correct it's, English. It's so, probably you know. from drinking. Let the me old. get this straight: the people in England don't speak English. No. They don't speak the proper English. We speak the proper English. Oh, I don't know how that works out. <laughs> We're going to we, finish this beer. God <laughs> save this episode. We made it. <laughs> ran with it. Made it better. <laughs> We're going to land in Bungay. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Cheers. So, we're back. We're back, obviously. And finally, the beer gods have blessed me because I finally got a beer with some ABV. What do we got here? We have a 6.9% wait, 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 wait. Did you say 69? No, it's, it's 6.9. It's confusing. Yeah. 69? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. 
Anything will do for ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, tell us what this beer is all about. This is a cream stout from St. Uh, Peter's. Um, uh, it, Did he say Peter's? Peter. <laughs> You said Peter, not Peter. Sorry, I'm just Come hearing on. stuff today. Damn it, Beavis. Go ahead, Jim. Or Butthead, whatever you are. Jeez. I don't know if I can't go. <laughs> All right, so anyways, St. Peter's is a relatively new brewery in English terms. It was founded in 1996, which was like, it's a baby. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's oh, very young. In, in the English beer world, it's yeah, definitely it's a baby. Yeah. But what's really cool about it is they're using a bottle design from the 1800s from America. I mean, it's this oval bottle, which is really cool. And they actually have the original design saved at St. Peter's. Yeah. It almost kind of reminds me of like some old cough syrup bottle or something. A whiskey so, flask. Oh, I really hope this beer flask. Like yeah. syrup. I totally get a whiskey flask. And, you know, and I'm a big, big, big stout porter kind of guy. So, I mean, I really honestly can't wait. Is there any other detail we need to talk about with this brewery? Or are we well, just going to get at St. It? Peter's is actually building themselves as a microbrewery, craft brewery, where the others were macro breweries. So this might be our chance to try something new and unique in a English craft brew. Right. We should get some uh, vanilla notes um, and some coffee notes, I think. Uh, um, and some chocolate. Yeah. Oh, we love chocolate. Well, at 69, is it sexual chocolate? Oh. Sexual <laughs> healing. I'm actually really stoked, man, because uh, running through these British beers right out the gate, I, they haven't really done much for me. They're kind of, you know, above Bud Light in ABV, but uh, now we're finally going to get an opportunity to get our hands on something really, really stronger. Not really strong, but well, yeah. really stronger. But Well, what are you waiting for? Let's cut away and pop the top on this one and let's dig into it. You know, as Cass said, we're going to go ahead and cut away. Well, Jim went ahead and poured this one, as you can tell by his massive head. Good news, he didn't spill this one. No, it's dry table. I don't know how Finally. many times we've had to clean this table today. Well, after three beers, I'm kind of, you know, spent out. Well, spent I think out. you've had four, this is number five, but, you know. He actually, he uh, either, so. he actually yeah. gets better with beers, kind of like shooting the pool. Yeah. What are we drinking? <laughs> <laughs> cheater. There's no <laughs> rules. Okay. Come on. All right. All right. We're, we're all no rules. We're I do get a lot of chocolate. Out. Oh, man. Do I no, get, I get chocolate? Yeah, I get yeah. chocolate. Are you getting the ABV you wanted there, T? Mm. It's not warm. I'm not really getting that. No. Well, it's only 6.9. It's not 12 and a half like we, you know. Have That's great. Beer. Americans like our beer. It's 12 and a half percent. It's not barrel aged, you know, but it's, it's a good, it's a good beer. I almost get like an oaky. Like an oaky taste. And some vanilla. I'm getting some vanilla in there. It's it's I'm not picking up the lactose. He said it's milk stout. I'm not picking up much lactose on the No, menu. definitely not. Mm. Milk stout. It it's is not, kind of a thick body beer though. And it's not, you know, milk stout. I would think kind of creamy and I don't I don't get no, that. No creamy. No. I'm gonna be honest though, of all the beers it's that we've very, done here. It's got a very it's one bitter of, finish. This is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the better ones. I could definitely, I could definitely have this with like you know some shepherd's pie or something like oh, that. Oh, that'd be really yeah. good. Yeah, good dinner uh, beer. Some spotted yeah. dick. Pie. No shepherd's pie. What yeah. the hell beer goes with spotted dick? I've been asking the whole time. I don't even know what spotted dick is. I think it's a dessert, like figgy pudding or something. I don't know. I Again, don't comments to. down below. Tell us what the heck it is. <laughs> we don't know. He said figgy <laughs> pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know your British cuisine except fish and chips. This and is bangers a match. This is absolutely an amazing beer. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, um, and they've not been around long, so they were doing a good they're job. They're doing something yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, where are we going next? Only twenty five years. So yeah. Well, it's, I think it's wherever the trade winds kind of yes. take us. We're gonna uh, pop the balloon up and just ride the trade winds. We can go to India. We can go up to you know. We know we're heading Iceland to the east, or whatever. But we don't know where we're gonna. Yeah. Cross. So both those places, Iceland or India, seem fun. Yeah. Maybe we'll do yeah. both. Are you hanging on board for us, Jim? Well, I would like to, but you well, know, we need the ballast, so you better stay on board. You know, is it the COVID <laughs> COVID fifteen you're referring to there? <laughs> well, I'm glad he managed to make it up on the balloon. I think yeah, this was a fantastic he, episode. He brought some good beers with him. Um, I think the English can make some some pretty good beers. I wish they had a little bit stronger beers. I could hang out at a pub all night, and right? Drink these and eat, and some, fish eat some spotted dick. 
No, fish and chips. Dude, I could, I could seriously What's go for some. What's his fixation on spotted dick? I don't know. I, I could seriously go for some bangers right now. Mm-hmm. Or uh, some shepherd's pie. could seriously pie. go for some banging right now. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. TMI. Of Around the World in 80 Beers. My name is T. I'm Kaz. And I'm Justin. Remember to like. Subscribe. And ring that bell. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.